Are there any protein cereals that actually taste good? <laughs> We're gonna see. I've loved cereal since I was a kid. So much so that my brothers would joke that when I moved out, I would live off of it. And some days they would be right because cereal is amazing. The problem with cereal is that it's not very nutritious. A slew of companies have tried to remedy this by producing protein rich cereals with bold boasts such as our protein rich cereal will alleviate your hunger pains <laughs> and keep you feeling satisfied. Boy, I'm excited already. <laughs> I have amassed a collection of these excellent source of protein cereals. And today we're going to try all of them, starting with the ones I am the least hopeful for <laughs> and moving towards the ones I am the most hopeful for. Magic Spoon comes in a few different flavors, but I have opted to try cocoa and fruity. <laughs> they don't seem super excited about their flavors, but they are advertised as a cereal for grown-ups. So let's see if they don't taste as boring as that sounds. <laughs> Look, all cereal is for grown-ups. It's, they're like Legos. You don't grow out of it. <laughs> it does smell good. It smells very cocoa-y. <laughs> Hopefully it tastes very cocoa-y. It's missing a lot. There's <laughs> there's a lot to be desired. Um, also has a weird kind of aftertaste. What is happening here? It <laughs> there's not, man, there's an initial like flavor of cocoa that you get that lasts about a second. And then it's terrible. <laughs> I gotta get rid of this. I can't, I'm not gonna finish this. I'll be back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I intentionally didn't have breakfast this morning cause I knew I was gonna be doing this and I wanted to be really hungry. But despite the fact that I have not eaten all morning, I couldn't finish that. It doesn't give me a lot of hope for the fruity, but we're gonna try it anyway. That's bad. <laughs> That's so bad. It doesn't even taste fruity. Like there's no, I don't get any fruit. There's no, it's so bad. Guys, it's it's only up from here, right? I gotta go get rid of this one too. I can't finish this. On a scale of one to 10, I rate Magic Spoon. <laughs> I'm not even gonna rate it. It's not, <laughs> that's not cereal. That wasn't cereal. I don't know what that was. It's like stuck in my teeth and it doesn't, I don't know what they made it out of. It's just, it's not right. <laughs> Number two on the list is protein cereal. It's, it's from, who's it from? Wholesome Provisions, but they literally just called it protein cereal, peanut butter. I saw this box online and I thought it was going to be big because it's a little cute. But what it is, is individual pouches. So you get, you get five of these in this box. The whole thing's kind of underwhelming, but we're gonna find out if it tastes underwhelming as well. Just take a good look at that. Boy, doesn't that look, doesn't that look so good? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. They're very crunchy, but in a weird way. <laughs> it's, it's a strange crunch, but there's a lot of it. A remarkable step up from Magic Spoon. <laughs> I will say that. I could finish that packet there and, and have that for breakfast and be okay. I wouldn't be super stoked about it, <laughs> but I'd be able to do it. It's not great, it's not good, but it is better than Magic Spoon. <laughs> and in a pinch, if I found this and there was no other cereal, I would eat this. I think that's a good assessment. <laughs> the third cereal is Catalina Crunch. I just busted this open and it smells amazing. <laughs> the flavor is maple waffle. I got that flavor because I figured it'd be pretty hard to mess up because I love maple flavors. And it's, how, it's gotta be good, right? Right? <laughs> this is also the most expensive option today because you only get three and a half cups of cereal in this bag. But it is also the option that has the most protein. So 
Maybe you get what you pay for. Maybe it tastes amazing. If it tastes as amazing as it smells, I'm gonna be pretty excited. <laughs> they look fake. They don't look like cereal. <laughs> they don't look like real cereal. It looks like someone 3D printed cereal and then put it in a bag. Hopefully that's not what it tastes like. There's a lot of maple and there's a lot of stevia. <laughs> you immediately get smacked in the face with that very distinct stevia after glow sweetness that doesn't feel right on your tongue. Still better than Magic Spoon, but that's not saying anything. <laughs> Premier Protein is given to us by the giant food conglomerate, Post. They've also given us cereal treasures like Fruity Pebbles and Honeycombs. But they did also give us Grape Nuts. So <laughs> who knows with this one? I have tried Premier Protein bars and they weren't super great. So that's why I'm not really hopeful for this, but it does have almonds in it. So that might be really good. It smells like chocolate honey bunches of oats. If it tastes like chocolate honey bunches of oats, <laughs> we might be in business here. It does look like tree bark, <laughs> but I'm not gonna hold that against it. Boy, that's a workout for your teeth. <laughs> this is the best so far. I, I kind of like that. It tastes hearty, but kind of in a good way. You're like, hmm, this is filling me up. I want some more, you know? Does that make sense? Hands down the best so far. I I would buy that. I would I would buy that on purpose. <laughs> it is almost chocolate honey bunches of oats, which I mean that's pretty hard to go wrong. I don't get that weird aftertaste, which is surprising because they did use stevia leaf extract in here, but it's probably not very much because there is real sugar as well, which I am fine with if it makes it not taste horrendous. <laughs> Three Wishes has the least protein out of any of the cereals we are going to try today. I'm hoping that means it has the least flavor problems to make up for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I opted for honey flavored and I'm hoping these taste like Honey Nut Cheerios because those are a favorite of mine and if these are similar to those with a little bit better nutritional profile then we might be onto something. Look how big those O's are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> those are huge compared to Cheerios. They're enormous. I kind of poured a lot, so I, I hope they're okay. They're not Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> they aren't bad. They're just very blah. <laughs> There's just not a lot going on here. There's like a hint of honey, but the honey doesn't taste like actual honey. It tastes kind of fake. I'd put these right there with the uh, generic protein cereal <laughs> of peanut butter flavor. They're kind of very similar. Like I can finish this and be okay. It's not revolting, but it's certainly not something that I'm going to be excited to eat in the morning. <laughs> eat your mouth off. <laughs> Definitely the most excitingly named protein cereal we've tried today. Um, the back of the box says this cereal hits different and it says money can't buy happiness, but it bought this box of deliciousness, which is pretty much the same thing. And it also says, I don't have the energy for adulting today. I'll just eat my mouth off instead. I'm a little intrigued and also a little scared. <laughs> they appear to only have two flavors available, one being fruity and the other being chocolate. I opted for chocolate because it looked like Coco Dino Bites and that got me really excited. It doesn't smell chocolate. I already, <laughs> it already smells fake. I'm not excited for this. If you're used to the size of Coco Dino Bites, these are not, <laughs> these are not the same. These are so enormous. <laughs> Mm -mm. No, no, no. I was excited at first because when I crunched into it, like the texture is satisfying and there was like this cocoiness. But the the sweetener, the sweetener is so bad. It just assaults your taste buds and just, it's it's still there. I can't, no, oh my gosh. Oh, bad. I 
I've saved what I'm hoping is the best for last. This, I hope, will be our redemption today. <laughs> I have tried Ghost's protein powder and it is amazing. It's very delicious. I've had their pre-workout as well and it was also really good. So when I saw that they were making a protein cereal, I got really excited. It's only available at Walmart. I ordered it online off of walmart.com so I didn't have to go to Walmart. So that was a win. <laughs> if these aren't the best cereals that we've tried today, I'm going to be wildly disappointed, especially since they're using the most sugar. That should give them a distinct advantage over the competition. I mean, this one's got marshmallows in it for crying out loud. I poured a little extra because I have hope. <laughs> they do, they look good. They look like Reese's Puffs and they smell like peanut butter, like actual peanut butter. <laughs> I'm, I'm, why am I nervous? What? <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's actually good. It's actually, it's actually good. It tastes like peanut butter, like like actual peanut butter. It's not super sweet. Um, it doesn't just attack your face with, with sugar. There's a very distinct peanut butter taste. They're easy to crunch. They're very satisfying to eat because they're so, they're so crunchy. Yeah, not gonna eat a whole bowl of that. And be excited to do it. <laughs> okay. We're going to try the ghost with marshmallows next. They only have the two flavors. They have the peanut butter and the ghost with marshmallows. And after trying the peanut butter one, I have high hopes for this. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to we're going to try a rogue marshmallow. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Look at that. It, it even it even looks the most appetizing <laughs> out of any of them. That's yummy. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. It's good. It tastes like, it tastes kind of like birthday cake. What? <laughs> That's tasty. Again, I could eat a whole bowl and be excited to do it. <laughs> it's got the same consistency as the peanut butter one. Not like satisfying crunch. I do feel like it's gonna wreck the roof of my mouth, <laughs> but sometimes that's the price you pay for good cereal. Ghost wins out 100%. Ghost is top tier. I I had the most hope for these and I'm so glad they didn't disappoint. Peanut butter is probably my favorite. Um, and then Ghost with Marshmallows is is, uh, is also really good, but you just can't beat the peanut butter. It's just so, so tasty. If I went to the store and Ghost wasn't there, I would probably pick up a box of Premier Protein. I could see myself eating this on purpose. It's probably, yeah, that's it. Those are the only two. <laughs> So yeah, these are legit. Out of all of these, these are the only ones I would go to the store and buy on purpose. If I wasn't making a video about protein cereals, I would still go buy these and I would eat them and I'd be happy about it. The rest, no. <laughs> if you like legit stuff like delicious cereal that has protein in it, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next review. And as always, I'll catch y'all later. I'm gonna probably go have another bowl of these and try to figure out what to do with the rest of this.